Welcome back, heroes, to some more Temtem. Last episode, we escaped the mines, went incognito going through Quattle, trying to clear our name, took on the Dojo Master, managed to win, and uh, now we are freely able to just explore. One thing I want to do, this is a stupid thing to do, honestly, because it's so much money, but I kind of I kind of want these goggles. It just reminds me of, like, Tai, and I think the other guy from Season 2 in Digimon wore them. But I just really want some goggles. I think make our character look really cool. There you go, I bought them. That was a lot of money, but hey, it could be worth it. Could be worth it. Oh, she has our hairstyle as well. Huh. Kind of regret, not gonna lie. But we can maybe die. Ooh, oh, okay. The brown's quite nice, actually, to be fair. Uh, I do kind of like that red. Oh, dude, I, I want to dye my hair different colours. I don't like the blue. I want to get rid of the blue. I'm gonna go brown then. And change that. That could go red. Or green. Match our eyes. Uh. It's the hard bit now. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> I think I think red. Red match are like our uh, our stuff. Yeah. There you go. That's a, that's a little bit better. I think we look really cool now, actually. Missed the blue and pink hair, honestly, but it's fine. Right, which way takes us out? We need to go to the prison first, go and see One-Eyed Matthew, which is not this way. We have lots and lots of things to do this episode. Um, might be a long episode. I'm hoping to get everything I want done, but we will see. I want to try and evolve two-way, two-way this episode. And when he evolves, I can finally stop mispronouncing the name, so I have no idea how you pronounce it, and then um, things will be good. Right, so we go down here. Take us to the prison. And let's go and get One-Eyed Matthew. Yo, my faulty. Have you managed to get any help for the Narwhal? Uh, I'm on it. Make haste, Voltsy. Don't waste another minute here. Oh, okay. Convince the captain to free Matthew. Okay. We meet again, Voltsy. Under more pleasant circumstances. I am loath to admit I was wrong. But so I was. Then let one eye Matthew go. Yes. This is the other subject I meant to discuss with you. I cannot just let this man you called uh, one eyed Matthew walk free after attacking my guards. I know his intentions were good, but it would uh, set a bad precedent. Let's do something else instead. You could help the guard tie up some loose ends. In exchange, I shall let him go. Sure, happy to help. Excellent. Listen up. Some time ago, I lost a few good grunt, uh, guards, sorry, I'm about to say grunts, <laughs> to the bandits. They were warped. They vanished with something very dear to me. It's an ancient icon made many centuries ago. I have reason to believe it is on a rocky island, somewhat on the northern shores of the Zolot Reservoir. Retrieve that piece of Tukmani history for me and your friend walks free. Okay, so to do that, I'm pretty sure we need the surfboard, which we don't have yet. So now what we'll do is we are going to leave him. Let me double check there's no like side quest to pick up. Uh, yeah. Right, so let's get out of here. I think the next thing we'll do is work on the... Get the surfboard. Get the surfboard, get it acid proof, and we can just... Surf around everywhere, and as well as head back towards the crash site so we can deliver the medicine we got last episode to, like, you know, fix o Oglana's leg and make everyone better. Right, so, uh, can we do this yet? Hmm. It's not appearing here at the moment. We might have to go and do the, um, the main quest first. We'll head back to Suji? Dr. Suji, whatever her name is, and see if we can pick up the quest now. If not, then it'll have to be a little bit later on. Like I said, there, there is many things to do this episode. <laughs> yeah, I actually do quite like my hair. I'm, I'm glad I bought these now. Just wish I could still have my hair multiple colours. But it's not, it's not too bad. The moment I can get, like, silver dye, I'll, I'll use that, because right now I have... Well, to be fair, my hair's dark grey. 
I got a bit too dark a tone hair dyed the other day and now I have dark grey hair. Which is eh, not as nice as silver, but I'm living with it. Once it gets lighter and kind of fades out, I can go back to silver, but yeah. If I can make a character in the game have silver hair, that would be sweet. And kick into me and I might pop a scent. But once I get to Dr. Suji, I'm going to probably cut to when we get to the crash site because, as you know, when we ran from the crash site to Quetzal, it's, it's quite a long way. And otherwise, there's no people to battle. It's just a long, long path. All right. Uh, let's get through here. Battled everyone, so I have to worry about all this. Wait, yeah, it's down here, isn't it? Yo. Ah, you're back. Is your crew safe now? Yes, they'll be intended to. Ah, good. Glad to hear that. Well then, how would you like to help science and the people of Tukma? I mean, they haven't helped yet, but anything for science. That's the spirit. Got empty water sample vial A. Okay. And vial B. So I spent a few weeks uh, taking and analysing water samples from different parts of the Zolot Reservoir. Which is no mean feat. Most boats just melt after a while in the acid waters. Unless you coat them with a special varnish, varnish I've developed. That's beside the point. Anyway, I'm growing concerned that in some points the Zolic, yeah, Zolotic, Zolot, I don't even know, say that word, might be uh, dripping a bit too quickly towards Quetzal. What do people drink down there? Basically, a water from the Zolot Reservoir, only naturally filtered by the many layers of porous rocks from the bottom of the lake to the cisterns in the city. Our town won't exist in the first place without this uh, natural phenomenon. It's quite simple and yet very effective. We all depend on it. If it uh, should start failing, we'd be in deep trouble. So again, what did the took money drink? Basically, water from the Zolot Reservoir, only naturally filtered by the many layers of the porous rocks from the bottom of the lake to the cisterns in the city. Okay. Um, so, what do we do? So we have to know if that is happening, uh, as I fear it is, and what the composition of that water is. Then I can work on a solution to make sure the water supply is not tainted. Take these vials, my friend. Try to get me water samples from underground. Need a couple of them from different puddles. Should find them on the mines of Miklan. We've determined exactly where this process is getting faster. Get back to me once you've filled all the vials and remember to label them clearly. So if you remember the little kind of bubbly puddles we saw when we were trying to escape last episode, it's basically them two puddles. We know I know exactly where they are, but we'll go there in a second. But I'm gonna quickly cut to when we get all the way back down here. Although, should I just do this first? Because if we can get the surfboard, we can just literally surf across. That'll be so much quicker. And over there, I think this is where we get um, the evolution of two-way. Uh, two and we can't explore that area, I think, because we haven't got the skates. But yeah, let's go back to the mines. I'm going to cut to when we get back to the mines, and then we can go get the water sample. So I'll see you guys back in a sec. All right, so we're back in the mines. I'm going to quickly pop a scent. So we're going to go in from the, uh, the prison side, because it's just a lot easier. Right. The first puddle is... You can see the second puddle over there. The first puddle is just over here. There it is. Look at that puddle. That must be the underground water Suji was studying. I'll take a sample. Alright, one down. And let's head to the other one, which is down this way, all the way around. So we got all the items here. And okay. We have an encounter, even though I have the super set up. I think the, the scents just reduce the encounters, not actually, like, properly repel them. Which kind of sucks, but... And I, I failed to run away both times, are you serious? Bro, that's not cool. Let me out! Let me out! Okay, good. If I couldn't run away again, I probably would have just screamed. <laughs> right. Oh, got to do this again. Great. It's not too hard to figure out, it's just uh, down like this. The scent has dissipated, okay. I'm not going to pop another one while we're doing this. Can't wait to get the skates and just come back here. Whenever that's going to be. Please, Temtem developers, if you, ever, if you ever see this, next update, when you add some more content, please give us the skate back. I, 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 want, I want to skate everywhere. Please. Although I feel like a lot of this stuff's probably going to be like late game stuff. Alright, let's grab that. Another puddle. So now we have that. Let's go back to Dr. Suji. And I think we get the surfboard now? Potentially. 
potentially. Oh my god, why has everyone got a Aluma Gazuma? <laughs> I love saying that in that sentence in the same sentence. It's, it's great. Luma Gazuma. Actually makes me so jealous. Honestly, so, so jealous. <sighs> I will I will get one at some point. Please, game. Just give me. Just give me one. <laughs> I don't ask for much. Alright, I'm gonna come back when we get to uh the scientist. I'll see you guys there in a little bit. All right, we're back. Let's talk to uh, Suji. Do you have the water samples? Here they are. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, my dear. Now I'll be able to access the degree of zo zolotic contamination in the Quetzalian water supply and make the necessary changes to the purification system. You've done your bit for science today, Volsi. It's only fair that science does something for you. Here, there's a little vial. Okie dokie. Great. Just one dose. But it should suffice. Okay. Uh, that is not getting me the surfboard. Oh, she's over there. I'm sure she can help you somehow. Man, I right, was going to um, head to the crash site first, and then go and give the supplies. I'm going to probably cut there because I have to run all the way back. <laughs> so I'll see you guys there in a little bit. All right, so we made it back to the crash site. Let's go and make sure everyone's okay. Yo, how's your leg? Finally, you brought the medicine. Hey crew, we have the first aid. Let's help the wounded. Volta, you saved us. Been gritting my teeth all this time. But you really held it together. Have this. You know how to put it to good use. Oh, okay. Held anger. Hey. <laughs> the narwhal is ruined. But at least now we know everyone will survive. At least the ones that are accounted for. What do you mean? We haven't found Kimor yet. Nobody has seen him. Not a trace of him or his clothes. That's not good. He fell overboard? Don't even say that. My friend Kimo's alive. I know it. We need to find him. You're the only one fully mobile right now. So please, can you try to locate him? Oh, while you're at it, can I ask you a personal favor? Sure. Thank you. See, there's someone in Quetzal. You must find her and tell her. Tell her I'm fine. She must be worried about me. It's my wife. Uh, Aizel? She lives in Western Quetzal, in one of those fancy Jude houses. It's very close to the entrance from the surface. Please, tell her I'm fine. And that I'll go see her as soon as I can I can walk again. Make sure she doesn't do anything crazy, like coming here on her own. Can you do that? Uh, I'll find her. Excellent, and please ask Izel to help you. She knows the city better than anyone. Okay, so. Done that. Uh, let's head back. Right. Gonna cut when we get back to uh, Quetzal, because we have a long way to go. Alright, we're back. Let's go. Whew, takes a long time running back and forth all the time, but the house is right here. There she is, yo. I don't think I know you. Please leave. Uh, wait, are you Isla? Okolana sends me. Wait, Okolana? Who are you? Where, where is she? Are we in an accident? But she's fine. Oh my goodness. Oh, by the great mother stone. Is she heal? It's just a broken leg. Well, she's out of danger, but I need help. That's why she's taking longer than usual. The Narwhal always runs on time. Oh my. But thank you. Uh, Volty, there's nothing. Let me see what I have here. It was in this drawer. Ah, yes, take this. Perhaps your people can use it. Got a squeezer, okay. Healing medicine items used in battle restores an additional 70% HP. And now how can I help you? The rest of the crew must really have a lot of trust in you. Uh, the navigator is missing. Oh no, Kimo? He's so much fun. One of Oklahoma's best friends. I hope he's alive. I haven't heard any news about a crash, which means nobody here in the city has noticed it yet. That's probably normal. Everyone was so focused on that troublemaker. You know what? Why don't you ask at the Jaguar Lounge? There's a local watering hole. Everyone goes there. Miners, smiths, guards. If anyone has seen him, you're sure to hear some gossip there. Okay, the Jaguar Lounge? Got it. Best of luck, Foxy, and thanks again for giving me the news. Okie dokie. The Jaguar Lounge is just down here. And now this is quite the place. Nope, not yet. Wait. I need to talk to you anyway. Hello, um, Actison, and this is my gear shop. I think you I have everything you'll ever need to give your Thames the oomph factor. Uh, I need something to sell the Zola Reservoir. Hmm, so, that's tricky, my friend. I mean, I can sell you a very nice piece I have here. I collect this item, in fact. But honestly, don't try to use it on the Zola Reservoir. you just ruin it. Here, take a look. It's a lovely uh, denizen surfboard. Made into Queezer by the best artisans, and signed by Dojo Master Sophia herself. Hey, that's my surfboard! 
Not yet, my friend, but it could be your surfboard for a very reasonable price. Uh, no, I literally mean it belongs to me. And how do you mean to prove that? I found it, and it's fine as keepers. Where did you find it? I was taking a stroll this morning, and I thought I might go have a chat with my old friend Suji, see how her work is going. So I head towards the lake, and this thing was just standing there, upright. It took me a while to unstick it too, as if someone had driven it into the sand with incredible force. So it's quite the object trav, my discerning friend. Yours for a pittance. Tell you what, we can come to an agreement. You look like a competent tamer, and there's something I need more than money right now. Actually, the well-trained talks a lot. Yeah, see, this is what I said like a couple episodes back. This is why we should capture one for a um, sort of side quest, but it's like a main quest. So we are going to trade that. Can I do it from the uh, thing? No, oh, I need to go and um, get out of the box. Okie dokie. It's like it's our surfboard, and then we need to um, take it to Suji to acid proof. There you go. Now it's all coming back to me. Right, let's just... And go and trade this. Get the surfboard. And then we good. Right. There it is. Select. Okay, now give my surfboard back. But like I said before, I wouldn't recommend you try to surf on the Zolot Reservoir with that. It would melt in a matter of minutes. Shame to destroy such a fine board. Uh, any ideas to care for my surfboard? Well, if you really want to use it in the Zolot res Reservoir, there's probably some way to. Proof it against the acid? That's applied science. I'm just a shop owner. Oh, you might you know who might know more about that? My old friend Suji. She's a regular nerd, and she specializes in the Zolot Reservoir. If one knows about acid proofing, it's her. Got it, talk to Suji. Thank you very much. Right, let's go get our Temtem back out the box. And then we can go and talk to uh people in the Jaguar Lounge. Uh where's my mouse? Ah, oh, there it is. Gonna put you in the box actually for now. Because I don't think we're gonna get into any fights, and obviously, we're gonna replace Osera soon with Saipat, so might as well do that now. Right, so now we've got to talk to everyone in here pretty much. So I'm looking for a Denizen Sailor. We got a few we get a few of those every time an airship docks. Any other info? Name's Kimal. Sorry, name doesn't ring a bell. Why don't you ask uh, Jamina, that charming elderly lady? She's a Denizen too. Perhaps she knows him. Yo. Uh, Jamina? Yes, remember how I used to babysit you when Aina went to Barco de Mar to buy groceries? Um, I'm looking for a seller named Kimo. Kimo, of course. I used to babysit him too. I haven't seen him in ages. He's a seller now, you say? So I guess that's a no. Sorry. Uh, I should ask some minor. Ask some locals? How clever. You're always a smart boy. Yo. Don't mind, we'd like to have the room to ourselves. Hey, I'm looking for a friend. You heard you heard him? Kindly leave us alone. Oof. This is supposed to be a romantic dinner, if you'll excuse us. Oof. Looking for a, a seller named Kimo? The navigator of the Narwhal? You know him? Of course I do. I'm a senior air controller at the Quetzal Terminal. I know most of the airship crews in the archipelago. Kimo is a skillful navigator. I have a bit too self-confident sometimes. There was that time he very nearly grazed a narwhal canopy with the mooring mast because he was on some sort of dare to fly with just one hand. <laughs> Darling. Oh, um, yeah, sorry. No work talk. Romantic dinner. Got it. Where is he? I have no idea. The narwhal was uh, plying the Kisiwa Denez route these days. Haven't seen that crew in ages. Oh, this is so tiring. Sorry to, hit, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Heard you asking everyone here. You seem to be so eager to find him. I'm afraid there's nothing I can help with. Look, it's too bad, but we're on a date, you know, and... Oh, come on, don't be like that. He's having a hard time. Ah, oh, fine. <laughs> Here, you want to finish this drink? You look exhausted. It'll do you some good. Thanks. Get some rest now, okay? Alright, uh, let's talk to everyone. Eh, maybe later. Okay, <laughs> get out, party pooper. Manners! Show sorry, just a joke, you she? <laughs> oh, I need to talk to this dude, actually. Yo, 99 Temessence Vile, stand on the wall, 99 Temessence Vile, take one down, pass it around, 98 tem Temessence Vile on the wall, nice song, uh, yif, the befong, 97 Temessence Vile's, okay, but I need to find this man, 97 Temessence it's really important, 97 for fence files, 94 Temessence Vile's, Puts in on full fool. 
And if one Temerson's file falls, ah, you're a freak for a finger, stinker, singer, foul, now foul, I mean, now, lifting, foul, don't move diff long. <laughs> Got the awful song. <laughs> if you rich on, if it, sure, thanks. Yeah. Okay, this looks like a dead end. What would Carlos do? Guess go somewhere else and find a new lead? And then someone... Oh, yeah. There he is, that's Faulty. The one you've been looking for. He's after my friend. Please arrest him. I'm not doing anything wrong. I mean, that Faulty. I think you're mistaken, Manky. He's blameless. Yarini herself has had that conversation with our captain. But he's been asking a lot of suspicious questions about my ki about my chemo. And he says there's these creepy Bell Soto people who sabotage his airship and... I'm a friend of Kimo too. Oh, uh, is that true? He's alright, Mankey. The dojo master knows people better than anyone. I, I'm so sorry about this. I was worried about him. I feared for his safety. Faulty, right? Please forgive me, Faulty. Do come see me at my house. It's down south by the Smiths Guild. We have much to talk about. So if you remember, um, went to that one house and the person said, "Get out!" Or you know, not like not now. That's the house. Because she was looking after Kimo. So now we can go and find him and everything's all good he's all right just need to try and remember what house it is oh yeah this is it it's me Volti. hey look he's all right mother solaro Volti. it's you how have you found me how how are the others the whole crew's whole crew's alive just wounded mm -hmm. that's great to hear don't know what i would do without that gruff old adia, uh, adia Ture. Uh, how'd you end up here so when we crashed, I was holding tight to the, one of the ropes. Problem is, that particular rope snapped before we hit the ground. So it basically slingshot me overboard. Before I knew it, what was going on, I was just flying. I like slow motion. I was going so fast, I thought it would just overshoot Tokma completely and fall over the western edge. That wasn't the case. I landed on some of those... Question bushes? No, uh... Interreads. That... That broke my fall. I still busted my leg. A couple of kids found me an hour or so later. Trying to crawl, they brought me here, and of all people, I re-met my old flame, Mankey. Old flame? Well, old flame, ex-boyfriend, it's always an on and off thing. Guess it's, uh, guess it's, I guess it's on again. Time to make new plans. Yes, nobody was expecting those Bell Solos to shoot us down. Nobody had uh, heard of air piracy of that caliber for decades. Mm -hmm. We'll bounce back. Mankey's fixing my leg. You fix the narwhal, then we find a way to get back at them. Need a way to Kisiwa. Hmm, yeah. That's gonna be a problem. Take me a while to recover. No, I can't fly without a navigator. I'm guessing it's also not airworthy right now. Mm -hmm. I recall you had some urgent business to do there. Something about a detective. Yeah, I don't think you can rely on the good old Narwhal this time, buddy. Sorry. I have, I have no idea. Well, perhaps he could... Oh, I don't know. It's risky, but... Whatever, you could try it. Ask Mankey. Okay. Are you done? He needs rest. I need to reach Kisua. Yes, and there are no airships. I heard that. <laughs> well, there is a way. Although I wouldn't recommend it to a rookie rock hopper or one who has never tried it, but you sound pretty desperate. So I'm gonna give gonna be giving you some free rock hopping lessons. Meet me on the surface, south of the entrance to Quetzal. There's a mini temporium nearby. I'll teach you some tricks. Oh before I go. Gee, I'm really sorry about calling the guards on you. I was worried about him and anyway, please accept this as an apology. You find it useful around these parts. A rock shield, eh? Hey. Very good. Right, who is weak to uh, crystal again? On my team, I don't remember. But I have some stuff I should probably equip. Right, so I want to equip the... Oh, wait, what? Oh, so he's using battle. Oh, okay. Uh, Weak to crystal. Kazuma's weak to crystal. Uh, that'll be fine. Toxic types. Around here, it's probably best to have the, the mask on instead of the um the ice cubes, because there's more toxic type tem tem to battle than the fire types. Let's quickly get healed up. We're gonna be doing the rock hop in probably last. Because we have other stuff to do. So now we have to acid proof our uh, surfboard. Which to do that when you go back to Suji, which is Back this way. Got a ways to go. Oh my god, he's got a Luma Deidre, it looks so sweet! <sighs> Man, that sucks. Alright, I'm gonna quickly um, cut to when I get to Suji. I'll see you guys there in a sec.
All right, we're back. Let's acid proof the surfboard. Hello again, Voltsy, and thanks again for your help with the water supplies or water samples. Anything I can help you with today? Can you acid proof my surfboard? Let me see that thing. This piece of wood wouldn't stand a minute in contact with zolotic acids unless we apply my special anti corrosion varnish. There, this should be a nice thick cover. Let it dry a bit, and there we go. All yours. Hey, all right. Hope I didn't ruin it. Smojo or whatever you surfers believe in. In any case, now it can withstand any amount of time on zolotic waters. Watch out for the spray, it can sting pretty badly. Take it easy and make sure you do not fall while uh, catching some waves. Right, so, uh, round here, we'll get the side quest there. We want to go over there, and over there, and yeah, go to them two places. I think here, down here, we have a battle to do, so I know we have a battle here actually as well. I could have sworn, actually. No, that's got to be the um, the thing we need for the captain. This is to do the mines. So let's quickly go down here and go around and get this other side quest. And if we find the Temtem, then we can capture it. It'll be a certain Temtem in a bit. And it's a... Wrong little thing. <laughs> We're going to catch a platy pet. I'm pretty sure you can get in the water around here. So once we find it, we're going to capture it. It's going to be great. Yeah. Oh, okay. I knew Captain Collie would send someone to catch me too. You won't take me as easily as you kidnap... Tal what? I'm not a guard. You don't wear the uniform, but you're made of the same stuff. Mine worms, tyrants. I don't care whether you're one of the, his brainwashed minions or just doing his dirty work for Pansons. One way or another, I'll beat you and rescue my sister. Okie dokie. You can try. But your sister's never coming back. <laughs> and what we got? Yeah, we should be fine here. Let's go for... Sharp leaf. And then switch. Because otherwise, Ryzy would just get absolutely demolished. Just hoping that Calibus doesn't go for a toxic move. Well, if he does, it's, it's fine. Because we got the... Um... Well, it's not fine. We, we can reduce the damage. Okay, the poison sucks, but it's fine. Oh yeah, the bell any damage, we good. Right, go for this. And electric storm. Ooh, let's go. I should really take off the coward's cloak soon as well. I think two wide's getting a little bit too OP. I say OP, like. When he evolves, he's definitely going to be OP, but compared to our other levels in the team, he's like 30... I probably need to put on the our starter because he's falling behind a little bit. Right, uh, double kick and DC beam. Please finish it off. Nice. Okay, we good, we good. Fine, you win, mine worm. She does look pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. And now you'll take me in. Like I said, I'm not a guard. You... Really? So why are you here? You serve over pure acid just to randomly come here and have a Temtem match with me? I'm an explorer. That's... unexpected. I... so... apologies, I guess. If I really thought you were... Oh, never mind. Perhaps you can even help me. Let's talk about it. If you're interested, I could use a hand. Yeah. So you have access to the underground city of the Mine Worms. I could use a hand. Then, what do you say? I'm in. Ha, huh, seems I've got myself a mercenary after all. So here's the deal. My sister Talok was kidnapped last week by Captain Collie's men. They say we're outlaws because we refuse to accept the rules. Just want to be left alone to live as we please here on the surface. It's a tough life, but it's free. Don't know uh, where they're keeping Talok, but I bet you'll find it easy to locate and free her. I know where the prison is. See, one less task. There's nothing for you. Being in jail sucked, yeah. You in the clink? and help a fellow inmate. Let me tell you, escaping from the prison is not that easy. It is, when you have the key. You have the key? No. Okay, where is the key? I just, I know just which smith makes all the keys of the prison. She must have a spare. So I just ask around for prison keys? No, she's not working, she's at the bar. That narrows it down easily. Okay, I'll go for an innocent. My hero. Hey. Right. Let's grab this. Madness buff. So, I am gonna try and do this now 
Uh, where is it? Right. We need to make sure, though, we are healed. I got bomb, bomb plus. Oh, I'll save it, I'll save it. So we're gonna lead off with this. Should be fine. Just because we're about to unravel a secret. A secret of who's been uh, causing trouble in our name. I gotta make sure I uh I do good here. Oh look, there we are, we're over there. Oh little Yukama. Cute. Run, run. Oh, come on, man. No, I'm trying to be as healthy as I want to be the tennis file, aren't I? Actually, so annoying. How <sighs> much to use the bomb pulse, actually? I might as well use it now. So annoying. You didn't even die? Oh my god, this Yukama. Actually, so annoying. Right, not look oh my, come on. Let me run away at least. Oh my god, this game is taking the biscuit, man. Like, I, I cannot lose this battle. There you go. Oh my god. So annoying. No more encounters, please. Bro. Honestly, I'm going to have to pop a cent. That last few steps. It's so annoying. Let me just, like, walk. Walk, swim. Or let me just run away first time. Seriously. I'm, I'm just going to use a 10 essence vial after this. 100%. If I need a heal, I can just use a smoke bomb to get back to the thing and then run back here. Well, not back here, but back to the air. Uh, where we were. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, I thought that was the, the bit to get off the land. It's a bit to the right. What? This game is just trolling me so hard right now. Honestly. Okay, thank you. Let me run away right away. This might be a good place to grind up because 40-ish. No, what? I didn't get it. To... Oh no, I want to use a 10 essence. Oh, okay, this is bad. There it is. General X will be pleased. What's that noise? Hey, who goes there? What the? Faulty? Ma Max? What are you doing here? I thought I'd stalled for a while. Ah, the Tukmani are such pushovers. Because you can't count on them to do your dirty work for too long. It doesn't matter. I'm always done in the, uh, this heap of ashes. And now, to pick up this package for the boss. And on to bigger things. But first, I'll give you another good spank in Voltsy. Oh boy, do I like my job. Okay, I should... I thought I could walk a little bit closer. I wanted to um, heal up, which is kind of annoying. But it's fine, it's fine. We even revived. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's just super frustrating. This bat. This like this past like five minutes. All right, so I hit you with that, and then I hit you with that. And he's got a different team as well, so I was not expecting this. Okay, so it's still fine. So it's still fine. It could have been a lot worse. Toxic ink, we can probably take that because of the the mask. Nice. Okay, uh, we need to bring in you. Right, sharp leaf and wind burst you. Last time we got absolutely wrecked by Max this time. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. This time I start at a disadvantage. One Temtem -tem less because I put Osira in the box because I thought I'd catch a Platy Pet before this. And being weak as well, which is not great. So there's a digital Temtem, -tem, which I need to bring up the chart. I forgot what digital Temtem -tem is weak against. It is. Okay. Digital is weak to water, electric, and other digital. Okay. Uh. Let's just take you out. Level 40 
too. Kind of scary. You're super dead. Oh, we lit. Oh, the poison's gonna finish us off though. That poison's actually so annoying. Mad times, poisons mess me up. Alright, let's go, Risey. Banshee, okie dokie. That cool Luma Banshee, man. Right, gonna use your turn to revive Kazuma, because we need you super bad right now. Don't have to worry about the Banshee. Kazuma comes in. If we can go for Electric Storm, they're both dead. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, I might use Ryze's turn to heal up. All depends on what move we can go for. I have to go for a chain lightning, aren't I? Alright, this should do a lot of damage. Took out my Ryzy, but killed the Banshee, almost killed the Zeo Bean. Be it Zeo, Zeo Bean. It's kind of cool, to be fair. I like that to dual tend him. That's the prison. Should be fine. Neutral damage. A tentacle. Okay. That's. Oh, that's, us. that's my tentacle. <laughs> I got confused because obviously it looks like us right now. I mean, Saipat's still fine because we could just go for Electric Storm. And then I'm going to kick it because I think I don't want to waste my stamina on Beta Burst. I think Electric Storm will probably take it out, to be fair. <sighs> okay, I was wrong. But I saved my stamina, which is good. That Saipat's going to die next turn anyway. Why is he resting Saipat? What? Okay. Odd. Fine. Um, this is bad. This is bad. Let's take you out and then beta burst you. Is this last two Tim Tim? I think it might be. Yeah. Oh, we got this, man. We got this. Hurt yourself a little bit. It's all good. Right. Uh, we have to. Wait, and let's go for a shrapnel. Electric Storm, oh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. This is my last two Tem Tem, I think it is, isn't it? Oh, God, okay. This is gonna be bad. Uh, what would do damage to that? I think Sunny can probably take some damage. Live, come on, Kazuma. That's fine, it's fine. He'll take some damage, I think. Woo! That was close. Let's finish it off with this. Man, Max, they are the worst. Literally, they suck. How does it you have the upper hand for once? It'll just uh, make it better next time I kick your ass. Uh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. My job here is done anyway. The clan will prevail. Can't even show your face in Quetzal anymore. And all the time you've wasted here in Tukma. You're already uh, late for Kisiwa. General Alex is already on his way. Nothing you can do about it. Enjoy your victory, loser. So Max has joined Clan Bell Soto. He sucks. Changes the Temtem's toxic type technique to water. Ooh. Looks very ancient. Maybe fashioned from the discarded horn of some prehistoric Temtem? Must be a reason for it to be here. See some sort of uh, clockwork here. Perhaps it activates some mechanism? Should take a look around. Uh, right, so what I want to do now is I am going to check the map. Yeah, so I need to go this way. I was going to fast travel. We want to go up there. Let's get this done now. But on the bright side, at least now I can do that and come out through here fully healed. It's not bad. 
Are the mines of Miglan. All right, uh, I'm gonna pop a scent. Not many scents, but uh, to get around here, we have to just go back and forth, back and forth. All right, go open this door, and then the mines are open. Shortcut done. <laughs> pop another scent straight into an encounter. Gonna run away. Okay. I think I was right. That Shuen's horn fits perfectly in here. Hey. Voila, and it's open. Should report back to the Guildmaster of the Smiths. I hope they can help repair the narwhal now. Let me quickly check the map. Uh, yeah, you don't have to go that way, it's fine. So, we'll go and report this to the Smiths Guild first, which will be straight into Quetzal. Told you there's lots to do this episode, lots. Right, uh, yo. Ah, oh, you're back, but the good news precedes you. The miners get us to resume work on the mother load. They say we're getting our first load of iron today. I did it, I reopened the mines. Both guilds owe you a great debt of gratitude, Voltsy. We will repair the, that ship, uh, airship free of charge. I'll let my artisans know that we have ore and gems to work with. How long to hear the forges roar again? The hammers sing over smoldering metal. Hey. Mm. Less poetry, more metal luggy. Captain Ture? Wow. No, I'm the Shogun of Simpanku. What? I was starting to think you deserted us. What the down below took you so long? Well, I... Mm. You had one job, Voltsy. Guildmaster, how long will it take? The Narwhal should already be in Kisiwa. What exactly do you need? How's your structural integrity? Wow. Critical damage to the secondary beams, severe damage to the gondola and one of the engines. Mm. Most of the canopy is okay, and the trestle frame survived the crash. Spare secondary beams and gondola modules then? An auxiliary engine, standard tools to the rest. We can handle that. I need your engine or engineer for the exact specs. She's wounded, but I know them by heart. Wow. Well, what are you doing just standing there, Voltsy? I'll stay here and handle the repairs. You go tend to the other tasks. Voltsy's, where's, where is One-Eyed Matthew? Weren't you two together? It's a long story. He... Cut it short, then. He's in jail. Wow. What? Why? He... I said cut it short. You need to get him out. I... This is not about you, Voltsy. Get to the prison and free my first officer. Quickly. You... Mm. You don't talk back to your captain, Voltsy. You don't leave a comrade behind. Wow. Go free One-Eyed Matthew now. The narwhal can, can't sail without its first officer. Yikes. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, I'm delivering this fro from Alana. Oh, the Marilus Engineering coop base, uh, coop boss. Let me see. And some steel beams. Those are, well, it takes us some weeks for sure. Hope she understands. We have this. It's the Smith Skilled Way of apologizing for the delays. Got a snare. Nice. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Right. That side quest done. Uh, next we want to go. Uh, tch -tch -tch. Go and get the souvenir and free one eyed Matthew. That's what we'll do next. Which isn't too far from the outside of Quetzal. Which is good. I need to try and find a platy pet as well to capture because we need a sixth team member and that's going to be our sixth. That tempt him in the middle right there in that loading screen. I have not seen that in the game yet. I wonder if it's in the game or not. If we go just over here, I think it's this way. Oh, straight into an encounter. Is that a play pet? <gasps> yeah, boy! We got two of them. All right, let's take you out and then... Uh, 10 plus. Let's go! Got that first try. Whew, what a toxic, yep. And that to the team, and take you out. Ah, that's fine. Uh, let's quickly sharp leaf and DC beam. Whew, okay. And I need to put the coward's cloak onto that little cutie. So we can start leveling them up a little bit. Uh, 2Y, sorry dude, unequip, 
give you that coward's cloak. And what should I give you? So no double check, I'm pretty sure it's over here. Yes, yeah, so it's gonna go up this way. And I think this is someone we've met before. Huh? Yeah, it's Naolin. You come to me again. First as a castaway of the fallen skies, and now as a rider of the burning waters. You again. And again we shall meet. And then as a page from another chapter. You're looking for the one who looks like yourself. Without realizing it, you're also looking for yourself. For you and they are but two sides of the same coin. Or two edges of the same sword. What they have become, you might have been. What you've grown into, they might yet reach. It's not just power or temptation you shall find, but your own change. As a tamer, as a human. What are you even talking about? In time, you'll understand. For now, show me how far along the process you are. I shall judge whether you are ready for the next step of your journey. Okie dokie. Alright, this shouldn't be too difficult. I think. <laughs> Uh, we need to switch out. No, actually, I don't know. This is kind of difficult. Switch into Ryzy. The moment Ryzy can land like a fire move that attacks both Temtem. Oh, I'll be so good in this area. I <laughs> really would. Okay, crystal spikes. Shouldn't do much damage to us. Oh, just a little bit. Good. Right, uh Logic spread and embers should hope to take out the Midrasi. Actually I don't know, because level 40. Oh that's gonna be pretty tough. Ah oh, my son he's taking so much damage. Okay, uh, what do, what do, what do? Sharp leaf. I've got to get rid of this dude now. Oh, no, you're dead. 100%. Oh, that's okay, not great, not great, not great. At least that's you gone. I've got three Temtem left. Dude, Neolin's actually pretty strong. Okay, uh, what do we want to do? Go you and you, I guess? Oh, no, Sparzy. No. Literally the worst tempting to bring out against me right now. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Forty-two. This is not fine, actually. Okay, that's gone. Good. And toxic farewell. Great. Ah, oh, it's actually kind of annoying. The right can. Okay. His team is actually pretty powerful. No, come on. I hate Sparzies. Nice though. Get that tech boost. It doesn't do much. And the burn's probably gonna kill us. Oh, we live at 1 HP! Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. We still in this, barely. Wait, what? Why did. I don't know why Platypet came out as well, but... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
see if we can do some damage at least. Spaz is almost out of uh, stamina, so if we can just live a little bit. Come on, little playpen. Look at him, gonna be so cute. Let's go. He's got an umbrella, of course he does. No, oh, leave my little bloody bit alone. He's so cute. <laughs> Think of that um, that little clip of that Twitch streamer seeing the, the bunny and then it, it just gets killed. I can't remember game it. I think I've got a war. It's like, Platypus is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Ah, oh, we'll protect him. We've got Doom though, so we've got to try and win this battle quick. Oh, we're so dead. Oh my god, he lived with 3 HP! Absolute legend! Oh no. Okay, good. So you're taking my platy pet? That's just mean, dude. Right, Tendor can come in, we beta burst that Sparzy. And then we can... Whatever we can do with platy pet and... Maybe we'll be fine. This battle is so close, dude. Maybe the 10 essence after this. Look at my little platy pet, he's so cute. Why is it not letting me bring out Tentul? I d you know what? Doesn't matter. Oh, we have no stamina, so I'm, I'm gonna have to use a revive. Oh man, this is actually kind of annoying. <laughs> Get some rest, okie dokie. Maybe Tentul actually did die, but for some reason just glitched with us having 1 HP. That's what I'm assuming. Probably happened. Sorry, play pet. Oh no. Please don't kill us, please don't kill us, please don't kill us. Okay, yeah, good. Sonics is fine. Ooh, Sparzy, please take yourself out. Yeah, this battle just did, just did not go well at all. Jesus. A baby step, but a step forward nonetheless. Very well. You've already met the others. Good loyal friends who shall stand by you when the uh, darkest hour comes. Do well by them. Some way to the east, evil men guard an icon taken from a former brother in arms. There's an old trinket, uh, valueless, yet priceless to an old man whose heart aches for the departed. Obtain it and return it to the heart and bro heartbroken man. Earn your friend's freedom. You shall need all your friend's help sooner than you think. And now I bid you farewell. We shall meet on another island to fight one crucial day. You, me, and the other three. See, part of me, part of me thinks that he might be, um... What's his face? Carlos? Oh, it's empty? I used it? Oh, man. Right, I'm gonna go heal up, because then we need to go and, um... Over here. Oh, we can heal up, actually, on the way. Oh, we don't die, because I've got the, um... Temporium by Dr. Suji. But yeah. Part of me thinks he might be Carlos. Could easily be wrong, but that's a dead end. Don't want to go down there, because that will lead us nowhere. And a Calibus, okay. This is actually kind of scary. I can't run away. Good. Things get really bad for us. On to this. Okie dokie. Oh, no. Let me just get to thingy. I always like think cruel is going to happen where I'm going to just end up getting to these encounters. I'm going to find a Luma. I'm going to be so weak, I can't do anything. I'm going to throw the Tem card, it's going to break out, it's going to kill me, and then I've lost the Lumen. Oh my god, that was literally one step. Oh, sometimes the RNG is just so annoying. Really annoying. On the bright side, I keep running away, which is great. Now, sometimes you get really good RNG where you can just make it for a whole patch of grass, no encounters, and then sometimes you just get really bad RNG where it's just... Every step is an encounter and after an encounter after an encounter after an encounter after an encounter. encounter. That was run away. Okay, this is it. This is where we die. I should have got the uh, decoy, but I think I left it on Ocera. Which is, um. Yeah, not great. <laughs> Ooh, no. Oh, the poison's finished me off. That's just unfortunate. Alright, I'll cut to when we get a Dr. Suji's. Alright, so we made it to Suji's. Uh, let's go across here. And then we'll just go across here. I think this is the area? Yeah. Yo! I'll be taking that uh, souvenir thing. And what do we have here? Another puppet sent by the old Captain... Old Captain Captain Collie. You can turn back and tell him you failed. Like the others, or you can join us. Like I did. Never knew life here. Away from the mine worms. 
Uh, I need that idol. Do you now? What's it to you? Doesn't have a trinket for that backpack? Doesn't have a piece in the game? You need it? Then you have to earn it. Oh, I'm definitely gonna earn it. Don't you worry about that. Sunny and Gazuma, what we're gonna do? This is gonna be super easy because we can just sharply and chain lightning. Hoo-hoo, let's go! Nice. So this battle is so much more easier than the um, battle against Naolin. 100%. And you're taking yourself out. You played yourself, idiots. Capare and a crystal. Okay, a bit harder, a bit harder, but it's fine, it's fine. Switching to Ryze and we should be fine. Ow, it's fine, it's all good, it's all good. And the burn won't do too much. Crystal spikes, yeah, it's gonna do nothing. Heh. <laughs> nothing at all. It's like a mirror, nothing at all. It's only level 29. Uh, if we just go double kick you, Embers should finish off the Crystal, or should the, sh the Sherald. Not bad damage. And goodbye. And next turn we double kick you again and just probably face claw you. It's all good, it's all good. Hey, rising at level 38, let's go. <sighs> oh no, I knocked myself out. I didn't realize I'm so low. <laughs> I've had enough stamina, it's all good. Keep forgetting that double kick has a lot of cost, like it's 22 stamina. Okay, now give me that trinket, my, my dudes, please. Take it and be gone. Pawn off the mine worms. Hey, ancient idol. Let's go. Right, yo. Uh, what do we want to do? Oh, bloody bit so cute. Every time I see him, just run up. I just want to give him a hug. I just want to just, like, catch all of them. They're just so cute. How can something just look so adorable and just... I want to just take him home. Right, uh, where am I going? Back to the thing. I wonder if I can just save a little bit of time by doing this. No, I, ch I healed up there. That's that's silly. All right, I'll see you guys back at the prison so we can um, rescue one-eyed Matthew. I'll see you guys back in a bit. All right, we're back at the prison. So let's go and give it to this dude. Wait, where'd he go? There he is. Yo. Feels like it was ages ago when I last gazed upon this ancient treasure. Well done, Voltsy. You're welcome, Matthew. You're a free man. You know this too. You have an excellent friend in Voltsy. Damn right, my dudes. I'm a pretty good friend. That I already knew. Thank you, Voltsy. I knew you were a stand-up guy. Go back to the Narwhal, Voltsy. The captain can use my help. Keep up the good work. You make a you could make a fine sailor one day. I shall met miss that fellow, I tell you. What a riveting conversationalist. Finally, the crew of the Narwhal have medicine, the repairs are underway. Found Kimo and freed one eye Matthew from prison. Looks like I'm done here. But I still need to find a way to reach Kisawa. Carlos must be waiting for me there. Perhaps I can find another airship. Let's ship the airship terminal. Well, we know the way to do it, you know. Just gotta... Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Whereas the quests aren't updating. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, quests aren't updating, but at least... They're, they're still working, you know. So it's fine. So good. Let's go check what's up with uh, the airship over here. Yo, what's up? Just my luck. First we get stranded in Omnesia during that blast of volcanic eruption. Now the freaking route to Kisi was closed. Anyway, sorry for the rant, landlubber. Captain Magada. I'm Voltsy, I need to fly to Kisiwa. That's quite impossible right now, Voltsy. Something awful is going on in Kisiwa. Some sort of massive attack by unknown airborne forces. Whatever it is, I'm not risking any lives. Sorry. Until that incident is over, I'm strike. I'm sticking to the Denez Omnesia route. Uh, okay, how can I get to Kisiwa? Well, I guess you could try the old rock hopper 
uh, hopping route at Koopaliza? <laughs> yeah, why not? If you're so down below, bent on getting to Kiziwa, give them this land, practice an old sport called rock hopping. Like the name suggests, it's basically leaping from one floating rock to the other. He's only a hook. I guess I should talk to uh, Mankey then. Sounds awfully dangerous, if you ask me, and, if, and I fly for a living. But good luck with it, and if you want to travel to civilized places in a civilized manner, I'll be here all day. Time to get some rock hopping lessons. Then I must meet Mankey. So if you want to go back to uh, any of the old, you know, places, we can talk to this dude. But you know what? I think we're going to end this part right here. Next episode, we'll go talk to Mankey, learn how to rock hop, explore that area, and then we're going to evolve two-way next episode as well. And I think that could be the end of the early access. I hope not, but it likely is. So I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace.